Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to go ahead and start texturing uh, parts of our car. Since we have everything UV mapped that we need to go ahead and actually apply a texture to, this is pretty much going to be straightforward in terms of going ahead and actually applying textures to our vehicle and its pieces. And the first thing we're going to start off with here is going to be the suitcase model. And the easiest way to go ahead and do this here is just simply um, apply a shader to it. But since this isn't necessarily a character and we actually don't need any texture or UV, um, any textures actually outside of, of my, and we don't really need to uh, um, actually edit them inside of Photoshop, we can simply just uh, apply shaders to them and apply a JPEG for the diffuse color of the shader. For the suitcase here, the only thing that's really going to change is basically going to be the the body of um, the suitcase. And we're simply just going to apply three different shaders. You know, one shader will duplicate the model and then apply another shader to it. So let's go ahead and open up our hyper shade window here. And we'll start off by creating a material for our, our suitcase base body and this goes along with actually rendering our vehicle so we have to sort of think you know what are we going to be rendering with and in this case we're actually going to be rendering with V-Ray so I want to be using a V-Ray material to actually apply to the suitcase body so as you can see I've created a V-Ray material here I'm going to go ahead and apply this shader to it to the body of the suitcase and I'll make sure I rename this just so that I can keep organized here. So suitcase and body. And you really want to keep a naming convention. This way you're you know going to keep organized later on down the road. So let's go ahead and go into the attributes of the shader here. And in the diffuse color slot, we'll click the, the checker box here. Plug in a file node. We're going to turn the filter type to off. Okay. And then we'll go ahead here and set an image of what we're going to use here. And we're going to use this lace fabric. of This is just an image that I've actually downloaded from Google or found on Google. And you can see that it comes in there. And you can see here on the model that the image is sort of, sort of stretched and, and pixelated. So what we need to go ahead and do is just basically up the resolution on the file node here or the repeat limit so that we can actually get more detail out of it. And the easiest way to go ahead and do this is go into the place 2D texture node of this file node, turn on the mirror U and mirror V, and this is basically going to mirror the texture that you have applied to the model. So we can then just go ahead and repeat the UVs and it's going to mirror it. So we'll go up to say something like 8 by 8. And you can see right away where the texture actually comes in and it's you know looking pretty good here. And I just noticed I'm gonna have to go ahead and reverse the the normals on those two things there. And I just reverse the normals and that's easy. Okay, so now that we have our suitcase one basically textured, I'm not gonna duplicate this now because we still actually have to go ahead and apply some more shaders to this and so let's go ahead and create an RV ray material here basically the same thing we're just um, gonna plug a, a file node in the, diffu the, the diffuse color slot here and just set our image turn off the filter type there and this is just gonna be like a basic leather and we'll go ahead and apply this And you can see we're we're definitely going to have to up the the repeats on this as well. So we'll go probably something 12 by 12. Mirror U, mirror V, and this way it's basically going to be a tileable texture, and it looks pretty decent. Let me go ahead and turn off the wireframe there. Just double check it. Yeah, it looks pretty decent, and we can probably go ahead and you know apply this to the handle as well and I'm just gonna look and no we'll go ahead and apply another one there so let's go ahead and reapply that standard Maya Lambert material there 
And as you notice, I don't actually have the uh, the sticker planes on the same UVs as the suitcase here and that's because I want to go ahead and texture these differently and if I were to put these on the same UV spaces as, as the suitcase model what's gonna happen is is I'm gonna eventually gonna have to scale those down to actually fit inside of the 0 to 1 space in the UV editor and I don't want to do that because I want to try to keep the texture resolution as high as possible so whenever I go to apply a sticker material to it or a sticker a sticker texture to it you're going to get a very high or be able to actually get a very high res image onto it so we'll go ahead and map these in a in a different lesson or in a later lesson and we'll just continue to actually work here on the the main parts of the suitcase here and so for the leather I'm going to go ahead back into the the attributes here and I want it to have some some reflection for the leather but not you know one because that's going to be way too reflective and it'll end up looking like glass or something so we'll go ahead and turn this down a little bit and we'll go ahead and turn the glossiness down here a little bit so it's more muted basically I'm going to try to look like almost like it's wet that's gonna be fine let's go ahead and rename this SC leather and I'm just hitting that C for uh, for suitcase there we'll go ahead and create a another V-Ray material here I'm just gonna turn this somewhat white and apply this to the stitching model of the suitcase here as you can see that they're black and that's because the the normals are facing the wrong way so I'll just go ahead and reverse the normals there and then reapply that shader to them and that looks pretty good okay so now I'll just rename this SC stitching create another V-Ray material here so that we can apply this to the handle and I'm basically going to use the the same leather node that we used here turn the filter type to off again we're going to use that boot test leather and you can see that that's definitely going to need to be edited so make sure we mirror it and 20 is probably going to be uh, I thought that would be too high too many re um, repeats. I mean, that's not bad. I'll go down to about 15. And I want to try to keep these numbers um, as even as possible. Within at least, say, like one or two different repeats. And that way it's, you know, pretty much going to mirror correctly. I'm going to edit the color of that a little bit. Basically just darken it up there. Come down here to the reflection. Turn this white turn that down a little bit turn the glossiness down so it's going to be sort of muted that's looking pretty good there and now I need to go ahead and actually create a material or a shader for like the mechanical and hard surface parts here and the easiest way to go ahead and do that is I'm not going to use a V-Ray material for that I'm actually going to use a standard Maya material which is going to be a blend in a layer or two blends in a layered shader here and so this is going to be the the color for our our locks and we'll just call this gold color we'll plug a, a file node into this same thing turning that quadratic off that'll be our gold color make sure I turn the reflection pretty much down here maximize the window here so you guys can see it make another blend and this is going to be a transparent layer we'll keep the reflectivity there turn the transparency completely up go ahead and create a layered shader here drag our gold color in drag our transparent layer in delete the green 
and make sure that our gold color is actually underneath of our our blend two, which is our transparent layer. So we'll call transparent, and then we'll go ahead and apply the layered shader to all the mechanical pieces here. And this just takes a little bit of time to go ahead and select all of these little miscellaneous pieces. And that's where texturing can, you know, sometimes be a pain, but you know, you sort of got to do it if you want it to look good. So just select all of these pieces here. Trying not to select anything else. Add our layered shader there, and there you go. Um, you can see that our suitcase is pretty much textured there. And like I said, I mean, we don't really have to export the textures out, and we basically don't have to export the UV um, UVs out and into Photoshop because this isn't going to be going into a game engine, so we don't really need to necessarily edit those a lot. Um, you can if you want, but it's I mean, for me, I don't think I really need to. And we'll go ahead and close our hyper shade window here. But for the stickers here, we will actually have to export the UV maps out. And I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And we'll go ahead and basically UV map those. And we'll just simply create a UV, planar mapping. Okay and we're going to do this in the x axis so that we get a side image or a side projection and I'll show you what that does okay go ahead and reselect it and I'm going to open up my texture window here and this is basically what we need this is the the UV map for the stickers and I'm just going to simply leave it like this um, making sure that I am not off on the UVs making sure that it's definitely in the 0 to 1 space and I just want to keep to to make sure that they're all pretty much close enough that I can actually go ahead and apply a sticker as I need here and a texture to them trying to keep organized like that that way I know exactly what's what and so we're basically going to do the same to the other side here so I'm going to go ahead and minimize this select these ones and create the same planar map for the other side go back into the UV editor here and just get these all into the 0 to 1 space you just have to edit it a little bit is all just trying to keep organized okay now we'll go ahead and basically export these out and I want to use the a good naming convention here okay so we'll go ahead and select all the UVs here just so I know what's what and since this is on the right hand side of the suitcase I'm going to use a naming convention and I know it's it, of what it's going to be and I'll just export these out into the project folder and uh, we'll go into, uh, yeah, I mean, you can use the source images or textures or whatever folder that you want. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the texture folder here. We'll go suitcase, write, stickers, stickers, UV. And we're going to use the same naming convention here for the left side as well. Just making sure that I select all the UVs there. UV snapshot. And we'll put them basically into the texture folder again. And go left. And there you go. It's all exported out. And in the next lesson, we'll go ahead and basically apply a sticker 
texture to these and then we'll go ahead and duplicate it and change the texture um, JPEG for the suitcase.